Hey guys, Matt from Ultimate City Source. Today, I'm going to help you try to optimize some of your best photos from your iOS device, such as your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. So, let's get started with the video. Okay guys, so this is really simple. All you're going to want to do is make sure that you do have a device that can autofocus or that has auto exposure control. If you don't know what I'm talking about, simply just go into your camera app. So I'll just turn on my iPhone 5 right here. Okay, so all you want to do is tap and see if there's a blue box. Now this does mean autofocus, but it can also mean auto exposure, such as on the iPad, I believe the iPod Touch 4th generation. You see right here if we go to the front camera, it does pick up my face. And this one you can see it says AE only. So what did I just do? Okay, all you're going to want to do guys is once you get that little blue box, you're going to want to find where you want to focus it. So here I do have my iPhone 4 to take a picture of. If I want to take a picture of, let's say, of the Apple logo, I'm going to hold the focus, and I'm just going to hold it down. It'll kind of get a bigger square, come in, and then right here at the bottom, I don't know if you guys can see it, it'll say AE, which is auto exposure, slash auto focus lock, and it'll simply be locked, so it won't try to focus anywhere else. So if I move my hand, it's still going to be blurry. Nothing but that distance is focused. So if you know what it means, it's really simple. Again, it's control on any device with the blue box. Simply to get out of this, just simply tap anywhere, and it will go away again. This is also controllable in video and on the front camera like you saw. So, this is Matt from Ultimate City Source. Rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you guys knew about this tip or anything else you'd like to see. So, see you guys in the next video.